I think we are about ready to start. The music kind of stopped, so let's just, uh, you know, at least swap it over. All right. I have the phone going, volume's off on the monitor. We could get this started. Uh, yeah. So last time we finished the final chapter of book one. Now we are on book two. When it comes to the achievements, I went over it last time, but I only got one achievement for book two. And I, well, actually I got two achievements for book two. Beat chapter one. And it was, uh, recruit Melissa. Oh, the names are different here. Spelled different there. Anyway. All right. Let's go ahead and do book two, chapter two. Carrying the root regretful feelings, Marth leaves Rust and lands at Medal to rescue Princess Minerva. After the War of Darkness, Medon was ruled by Minerva, who removed the generals who had caused suffering to her people, and re re uh, renovated the army. However, the powerful General Rook opposed Minerva's actions. He gathered the removed soldiers to overthrow her in a coup. The unprepared Minerva was captured by Rook's followers, and, and Medon fell into the control of the rebels. They then dispatched powerful Draco knights to sternly guard the country's bordering for, uh, force. Force. There we go. Jeez. Got an ad going. Hmm. Okay, so I think I can take everyone. Yeah, I can take everyone. Again, I'm not really gonna use Aaron. But I'll take him anyway, he's not hurting anything. Ad looks like it's done. How's it going, Juice? And yes, I can immediately tell the music is a lot better in 3 than it was in Book 1. Uh, probably because, you know, the new songs were made with the Super Nintendo in mind, I think. That's just my theory. Let's see. Time to look through. Doing good, have you? Nice to have days off work. That is very nice. Are you gonna be uh, going back to streaming soon, or are you just gonna take it easy? For now, okay. You have a writer's bang. That's gonna be annoying. So we gotta help out. With Might dip out in an hour and get a late lunch. It's all good. Do what you need to do, Juice. Do what you need to do. Oh, okay, we got Warren. Warren's a new character, right? I don't remember him being in book one. But he is a hunter. I think we have our replacement for Gordon. We gotta get... Wait, a, a lady sword? Is that what that is? Like... Is it a sword only for ladies, or is it a sword meant to kill uh, meant to kill ladies? I don't know what that means. You want to finish Pokemon, then you don't know what to play next. For women only. Okay, so only women can carry the sword. I I I don't know why only women can carry that sword, but uh, uh but uh. It's not a lady killer, I guess. That's that's good. That that would be weird. Okay, so it looks pretty simple. We're probably going to be getting reinforcements out of these forts right here. It doesn't seem that complicated though. It is a great sword. Well, for right now, 
the only one that could use it is Cecile. Uh, Cecile. She'd be the only one that could use it. Which she's already proving to be a pretty good unit. Oh, wait, never mind. Lord Marth! Great! So you are here! Ketria! I heard a rebellion broke out in Medon. Are you alright? Yes, my sister Paola and I managed to escape, but Minerva was captured by the rebels. Marth, please rescue Minerva. If this continues, her life will be in danger. Of course. Of course I will. Ketria, please take me to where the princess is. Yes, but we must break through the bordering forests in front of us. These forests are full of General Rux Draco Knights. If we approach head-on, we'll be discovered by them. Is that so? Then we'll march through the left or right side. I understand, Ketria. Leave everything to us. So they don't want us to go through the front? Are they basically saying don't get in range with the Draco Knights? Will I get it? Or will I let them flee? Hmm. Well, we'll see how it goes. There's not much here. But I do want to get this. I want to recruit Warren. He'll probably be a main member. Uh, and it looks like we have Katria. I was thinking... Actually, now that I'm really thinking about it, like, giving Katria or Cecile the sword would only work when they're dismounted. So I don't know. But we'll see. Uh, for now, I think I want Eren to just check villages because I don't actually want him to do anything. You should be careful of Rumel. He is carrying a writer's bane. Cavaliers and paladins can be defeated in one blow with that weapon. Yeah, that's that's useful to know. If you didn't play book one and this is your first Fire Emblem game. So yeah, it's clear that the thief is right here because you can easily send Katria in. But then she's surrounded by archers. Where's the thief gonna go? There's no village. I'm guessing he's trying to get to a fort. Well, in the meantime, I guess I'll have Marth head over here to the right. Uh, Cecile can go over here. No, wait. Yeah. I'll have Rhodey go left. Katria can also go left. I'll have her visit the village. Be careful of the thieves! They steal any pre precious items, you should take them back from them. You mustn't let them escape. Yeah, I, I, I fully, I fully get that. Okay. So they can actually steal items now? It's it made, it made it sound like the thieves can actually steal. That's good to know. Perhaps the seal go this way. Uh, I guess. Ryan is, well, you don't have many options. So these are thick force. Takes up a lot of movement. Okay, I think they more meant you should go left or right due to movement, not for being spotted. Okay. Alright, let's see how this goes. But you don't... So you don't know what to play after finishing Pokemon? I mean, there are many games. There are many games out there to choose from. I, it's just hard for me to be like, hey, you should play this, you know? Because think of the amount of games there are to choose from. I kind of already know what the next few games I want to do after this are. But again, I always have the the channel point where you can just make me ch do a challenge run of any game you want. That's why I leave it there. Make people force me to play something, basically. Okay. 
so the thief is going over here. And we only have one archer on this side. Wait. Now I'm looking at that. Okay. So what if I have Katria go here to the archer? Oh, that's Warren. Okay. Warren! Even you've joined the rebels? White Wing Ketria. It's been a long time. I am just a hunter. I'll do anything as long as I get paid. Warren, listen to me. Princess Minerva worked hard to create a country where everyone can live and work in peace. That was the reason why she removed those worthless generals and soldiers. But even knowing this, General Rook provided the soldiers and provoked the soldiers into joining the coup. His only reason being because he wanted to take this country for himself. Do you think what he's doing is right? Is that true? I don't like the army doing as they please. I understand. If you're going to rescue the princess, let me help as well. There we go. We got Warren. And yet, the achievement says book two, so yeah, he was a new character. Something is having someone other than the main character talk to new recruits. Yeah, I can agree with that. This game only Mark can visit villages, and that's then that is changing next games. Yeah, which okay, let's be honest here. That was a holdover of probably FE1. That was more of an FE1 decision than anything, and uh. I'd probably say that I'm not against having anyone visit the villages. Because it can let your main hero do something else. Mars level 3. But, like, the newer games did basically train me that the main lord should be the one talking to everyone, you know? And that shouldn't be the case. Granted, I wouldn't have guessed it was supposed to be Katria to talk to Warren, but I think it makes sense. But maybe one of the villages are supposed to give you a hint. The thieves escaped with my family's treasured lady sword. That sword can only be used by females, but it contains tremendous power. If possible, please try and recover it. Well, let's see if we can grab it. Uh, can we get Warren here? Attack. 13. Okay, we can't double, sadly. We can only deal 12 damage. Oh, well. The thing about making Marth specifically be the only one to visit villages is that you can make dialogue very specific to only uh, refer to Marth. So you can be very specific on that dialogue. That is a benefit of limiting you. Whereas if you could have anyone visit the village, you have to have the dialogue be general. It's, uh, it's an exam- I guess it would make sense for an army leader to visit the village. That makes sense, too. Because it's probably hard to distinguish just a random, uh, person that's on the front lines. A villager probably wouldn't be able to know that, uh, draw- no, actually. A villager probably wouldn't be able to know that militia- is part of the army, just by a glance. Martha Jagan? Well, Jagan's a tactician, so he's not actually on the field. Actually, if anything, uh, Aaron could probably pull it off. He's probably well known. But yeah, he's, he probably should be based on notoriety in that case.
book one, Jake, and book two, Aaron. Yeah, you can make that work. Again, I feel like it was just more of a technical limitation. I think how they made it work is they specifically programmed the Lord to visit villages. I think that's how they specifically programmed it. Only lords can visit villages. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Wait, is when Zani transforms, is he considered a lord or a chameleon? I didn't catch that. But when he transforms, is he lord or chameleon? It's hard to say. Because, like you said, you tried having Zane visit a village. Yeah, so there's... Hmm. There's something else going on then. Maybe they do have a program that Martha's the only one to do it. Katria has to be the one to give the thief kill now. So, yeah, one thing that, you know, the fact that Marth is the only one to go to villages means that the dialogue can be specified. One aspect of that that kind of does something similar, well, I, I wouldn't say does something similar, but it's a change that I like. In the in the Thracia games, or, at, or I should actually, Path of Radiance specifically, I should say. When it comes to the support system, because how they have it set up to where you build a support point just by bringing them onto your team, and after you build enough support points, you get a support level, because of that, the support conversations can specifically talk about events that, that happen during the story, without and not just have be something generic that happens on the side, you know what I mean? So I think having very specific dialogue can actually is more memorable i think the previous war caused many hardships for the country uh for the country's people the only country that had it easy was em emperor hardin's arcanea why was arcanea the only one that got it easy oh right they teamed up with uh they teamed up didn't they yeah that's right Okay, let's see. I need to get rid of this guy. I think I want you to kind of block. Can Luke do well here? Wait, what's your attack? 14. So we're only dealing 10 damage to this hunter. Or I can have Marth go here. Attack at 11. That's 14. That's only 14 damage. And if I go here. Oh, we have an attack speed of 6. 12. 16. No matter what, I need two people to get rid of this hunter. No matter what. So, because I really, okay, so I really don't care for Luke, or I should say I'm planning on benching Luke. We're doing that. Then, we have you go here. We have a tech speed of two. But an attack of 14 minus 4, that's 10. There we go. But yeah, uh, Book 1 had a, a lot of characters that were recruitable were not recruited through Marth. 
There's probably a couple for sure, but not many actually were. There's probably only a small handful that actually were. Hold on. No, I'm actually on the page. Let's see. Cast yeah, Castor was was uh, Sheeta. Navarre was Sheeta, I think, or uh, Lena. Either way, it was a female. It might have been Le Lena. Mathis was also, I believe, Sheeta. Merrick, you got in the village, so technically Mark. Wendell. Rickard was Julian. Wendell was Marth. Okay, so I think Wendell was Marth. Bontu, I believe, was in a village, so technically Marth. Maria was... Okay. M Maria was recruited by Marth, specifically. And by extension, Minerva was too. George was a village. Lind was a village. Kala, Katria. You have to talk with Marth, but you needed Minerva, I believe. I believe that's how Pala and Katria worked. Uh, Astram. Astram, you needed uh, one of the characters from the prison. So yeah, not Marth. Samson. Okay, Zane was recruited by Marth. Samson and Aaron are both villages, so by extension, Marth. Tiki was Bantu. S, well, in some roundabout way, was a village. She just kind of automatically joined you. And Lorenz was Ka uh, was Sheeta. Yeah, honestly, most of the ones that were recruited by Marth in Book One were from villages. And that's how you recruited them. Oh, Marth, you gotta get rid of this guy. Attack and 11, defense of 3. 16, 16 damage. Ah, great. Oh, can he reach? This is the one problem. She might be in danger. I wanted to keep Marth in the forest. This might be bad. Yeah, he was still in range anyway. It didn't really matter. Oh, wow. I should have had Marth right here. Okay. Let's see. You still need to go up here. Get rid of the thief. There we go. Now we got the lady sword for Katria. We got some gold, and we got the lady sword. I wouldn't mind lo uh, looking at the stats. Put Rody here. You're fine. Gordon? Gordon's the only one that's close. But I'll probably be using Warren. Gordon? He'll be fine, though. He'll be fine. Oh, uh, maybe I should have him move down one. Oh, well. Is that it? That's it. Oh! Interesting! Take this, Rider's Bane! 
I'll show you the horrors of the Medonian Draconian Knights. Ah, uh, okay. I wasn't expecting this. I didn't think he, he would move. Book one has trained me that, like, the bosses won't move except for, like, one example. Because in every map, it's always seize the castle. If they move, then I can seize the castle. Well, she's surviving. At least she can double. Yeah, this was a bad set. And sadly, one of the other uh, knights can make it. Let's be honest, putting Martha in the forest probably wouldn't have made that much of a difference. Oh, you're going after Katria. Oh, wow. Katria hanging in there. Man, this is tense. This is really tense. Okay. Maybe, I sh maybe she should have the sword still in the land support. Okay, Warren, can you survive? Can you survive the other one? Can you dodge the other one? Fine with either. And it's Warren. Is he the only one that died? It's not drug, that's for sure. Oh wow, one damage. Molly, what are you doing? Oh, he's backing up. Okay. Wow, that was actually really close. Okay, that was that could have been worse. That could have been far worse. Let's try that again. So are we actually going to go to the top right corner in the f of the continent? Because I don't think we've ever been there in book one. Because what's the point of having, like, something up in the top right corner if we never get to go there? Uh, what items are we looking at? Oh, you have two. Okay. Give one back to Marth. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's try that again. You just beat Awakening, and the second to last level brought me to the very first area of Book one, chapter one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, the little small island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it all lines up. Okay, we're trying this again. Aaron's only gonna visit the other village. Gordon and Ryan. I guess we're going this way. I had Katria here last time. Mark over here. You go over here. You 
gonna go up here. I gotta be way more cautious, I think. Yeah, I wanted that lady sword, but I think... I, I think he's going to escape if we, uh... Honestly, the fact that Katria survived says a lot. So I think it might be okay. So, yeah, Juice, uh, since you just beaten Awakening, are you planning to do any of the DLC? should be done by now. Uh, for some reason, the archers moved over here. Or most of them. I don't know why. But that's actually really bad. Is it because Katria moved to this square instead of here? I'm not sure. What is it? Warren is such an idiot. He actually joined the rebels because of money. Oh, I remember he and Ketria know one another. There's your hint. There's your hint. Okay. Uh, the DLC, um, so a, a lot, some of it is actually fairly useful. Well, a lot of it, I wouldn't say ha is any, like, sort of plot relevant at all. There's some really good ones. Uh, I think all of them have some sort of use. Uh, there's... There's a map that's very specifically meant to level grind. There's a map specifically meant to money grind. There's one for... Oh, okay. There's one that's like a... I think it's called like a summer harvest or whatever. It was something like that. And if you complete that one, it gives you a... It was either a master seal or a second seal. And the benefit about that is, yeah, the reward isn't worth it when you, you know, when you're at your point in the game where you beat the game. But if you, you can play that chapter as soon as you get access to the Dragon's Gate. And you can just keep doing that mission over and over and over again and getting more second and master, and or master seals. I forget what it gives you. So if you want to do a lot of grinding early, you can use that DLC. And those are like some of the notable ones I can think of at the moment. Uh, but there is a set of DLC, I think there's like six chapters, where it's actually, uh, um, uh, kind of a side plot that it actually has some substance. Basically, uh, the... There's like a six chapter story where your group jumps to the future. To a future where none of the children have gone back in time. And you save that future from Cataclysm. So yes, uh, 
if I remember Awakening, has three timelines because of DLC. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. I sense a reset. So yeah, there's the timeline where Luc uh, the, there's the timeline where Lucina came from in the first place, and all the children came from except for uh, Morgan. Damn, Catria was able to tank an, uh, an archer. So yeah, there's that timeline where Lucina and the other children came from, where all their parents died, and they went back in time to change the past. Then there's the main game timeline where you manage to defeat Grimma in your time and stop a bad future from even happening in the first place. Then there's a different timeline, and I think it's the timeline where Morgan actually comes from. And you go to the future, and I think all the parents are still dead, but you save that future from continuing. So the children have in that timeline have no reason to go to the past. Awakening has three timelines. I hate time travel so much. <laughs> no one died yet. But the thief is still there and Katria's in danger. Oh. Well, if we're gonna have a have to have a reset. Alright, Warren. Um, and no one else can get close. Warren. J just do something. That's a lot of damage, but not enough to KO. If it wasn't for the thief, you know? Uh, the thief actually messes with a lot. But yeah, at the very least, like, I remember Awakening's DLC, the the money grinding one, the EXP grinding one, and the, because uh, they did like a bunch of bundles and released them in batches. I remember those being very good. I used those a lot. Like, seriously, the level grinding one, you, you'll kill one of the enemies and you'll just gain a level. It's like a full level up for per kill. Like, it's that good. And the money, and the money you could get from money grinding is very, is ridiculous as well. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I know I'm missing, I, I know I'm misremembering some of the other DLC. It's ultimately up to you. But hey, give them a try at the very least. Let me see. They're long. No, it's not. No, okay, it's not that. Uh. Wait. Oh, wrong game. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, Marth, stand here. Luke, I guess I'll over here. I don't think anyone on this side needs to be Cecile, but not really. 
And none of these guys can get close. Watch as someone dies. Okay, yeah, awakening. Let me let me look at awakening's uh, chapters. Let me look at the DLC. And there it is. Who would have expected that? And it's Warren to die first. So why do I want to use him? Xenolongs <laughs> DLC. Okay, Xenolongs DLC. Yeah, we'll try that again. So, okay, Harvest Scramble, is that the one I'm thinking of where, what was the reward? You get some special dialogue, but like, ah, uh, okay, yes. Harvest Scramble, you complete the level, you complete the chapter, you get a single Master Seal. And I think you could just keep doing that mission and keep getting more Master Seals. And it's a way to just level grind your characters up way before you can even buy Master Seals if you really wanted to. Now remember that. I will not play the opening. Let's see. Summer Scramble. Is there something special about this? Uh... Special dialogue. Oh, I remember. Okay, the summer scramble whole thing was like you could get. S there was a uh, a poll for like who the most popular characters were, and the top two males and the top two females that were not the children. When uh, you get like special swimsuit artwork. For completing that chapter. That's what it was. And then there's a separate one. I don't think... I think that's like the only thing from that chapter. Hot Spring Scramble is the top four popular child characters and it does something similar. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So those ones are not that... not that important. What's this one? Uh... I don't know if there was something special about this. Okay, sorry. Let me actually... Let me actually make my moves. Alright. Let's put Katria... Nope. Let's put Katria here this time, because that's what I did. Oh, I didn't need to. Because for some reason... Most, uh, two of the archers went over here. Or one other archer went this way. And I can only think of two changes that I made. Katria stood here, meaning one of the ar other archers wanted to go this way. And also, I first had Rhodey over here as well. And I don't know if that affected anything. But that... That first attempt was a lot better, and I want to see if I can recreate it, more or less. Cecile, I want you over here. So at the moment, let's just keep Katria where she's at. We'll have Brody go to the right side to see if we can... Uh... Okay, so there's a, uh... There is a DLC map where there are five Annas, and if all of them survive, you get a Katria card, which means I think you kind of get a... I think those cards, if I'm correct, you could make a generic unit that resembles whatever the character in question is. So, in a way, you could get a Katria on your team. What's this one? 
This one was... Oh, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, this one you could get a Pala uh, clone for roster rescue. Is this one an S one? Yeah, okay. So three of the chapters can give you the... Uh, the Pegasus sisters from, from this game. And when I say you get them, again, they're kind of generic units with, I think, similar stat spreads or something. Okay, yeah, this is a better setup. Putting Ketria down here on the village is a lot better. I have to talk to you first. Let me get through this. Is future past what I'm thinking of? Okay, yeah. Future Past is the story mode I was thinking of, and I think there's four chapters. Uh... Wait. Hmm. I don't remember that one. Uh... Okay, so Future Past, there's three chapters. Now I'm kind of looking at some of the other ones. Well, those Champions of War. Oh, okay. I remember. A lot of these other DLC chapters are, uh... First of all, the maps are from previous games. So, like, there's three Champions of Yore. The map itself is a recreation of FE1's first chapter, so that island where Talus is. But... Uh, depending on which one you beat, the reward is, uh, like, Marth, or Micaiah, or Roy. But again, if I'm correct, those are just kind of generic units with the same name and similar stat spreads. What was Infinite Regalia? So a lot of those DLC chapters basically do that. They have a, uh... A map from a previous game, and you could get a character from an older game as a reward. Kind of. Warren, you need to do this. Weaken him. Catria was able to survive at one fight, so. Oh, never mind. We got the KO. That works out. We got the Lady Sword. Golden Gap, Exponential Growth, those are the DLC, uh, the EXP, and the Money Grinding one. So yeah, I, um, you could give them a try if you wanted. You could probably finish them off in a day or two. It wouldn't take you that long. But, uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to play through them or not. I think I need to have Aaron up here as backup. Over here. Or, you know, Mark just gets the KO. Shrog. Let's just have you start moving up here. What is your range? Basically, where Draw is. Luke's the only one with a javelin. So at least it's quick there. Uh, it's ro Rody close. Cecile should go up here. Alright. And you need to, like, go up here. Alright. Sorry I was distracted from DLC, but I was just trying to remember. But yeah, if you really wanted to, you could, like, do a new playthrough of Awakening. And if you do the DLC as soon as possible, you can have Marth, Roy, Micaiah on your team if you want to play through the game like that. Okay, 
Warren. Okay. You survived. Alright, so this is a lot better. This is a way better setup. Due to the fact that, you know, we got that lucky crit and we don't need to chase down the thief. Well, because we have Katria so early, she might be my main Pegasus. I feel like part of the problem I was having in book one is Minerva was our, you know, had the same problem as just being a pre-promoted unit already normally has. So maybe instead of Minerva, I should have used Paola, Katria, or Ast. Not a complete choke point, but it's not bad. And draw can start weakening enemies. So, uh, Juice, are you going to be moving on to a different Fire Emblem 3DS game like Fates or Chess of Valentia? Or did you just want to play Awakening? Start of Fates. So over the new Fire Room starting chapters. Have you played Fates before? Yeah, okay. This is your... Okay, it is your first time playing. Yeah, it has three different stories. It has three different routes. And... Uh, the... But here's the thing. Unlike Fire Emblem Three Houses... One, the chapter split is as early as... Like, chapter five or six. And two... Uh, when you start a new playthrough, if you want to do a different playthrough, it gives you the option to carry over your character, at least in terms of, like, whatever starting build they are and their look, and you can just immediately jump to the decision, and you don't have to do those first five or six chapters again. It lets you do that. So that's nice. <laughs> but yeah, you will have to play it three times. But at least you don't have to slog through like the first half of Fire Emblem Three Houses just to get to the new stuff. I, I can at least say that about Fates that's better over than Engage. At least you're getting the new stuff right away, basically. If you just want to know what's going on in the plot. And you know, Three Houses could have easily done a few chapters where the act the actual main chapter is completely different. Like, early on, if I remember correctly, there were a few chapters where it's like, oh, we need to send you out on this random mission. Just make that one chapter different depending on which house you go into. Strength, speed, luck, HP. That way, 
That way, replaying through three houses the first half isn't that much of a slog. That's why every time I tried playing three houses to get to new story stuff, I just got burnt out by the time I get to the second half. Because it's like, oh, I've done the first half already. Let's see through it. I still need to go back and do Blue Lions. I basically got to the second half and then stopped. Because I was so burnt out. Mm -hmm. well, to me, it was right as I got to the time shift. Or to the time skip. Because it's like, okay, I was trying to push through the time skip. I was trying to push through the first half. And then once I get past it, I'm like, okay, I got through the TS part. Let's take a break and come back to it. And then it's like, who knows how long. You know. It, I'll give you that. Three Houses is a big game for... It's good bang for your buck, basically. Pack of 13. Pack of 6. Yeah. Go, Ryan. just get a crit that works too all right what was what's your range he should be able to attack draw so i'll keep that in mind but that's the only one he can attack right so i can have Rody here get get rid of this guy Or, you know, we get him to 1 HP. Strength, speed, weapon level. Oh, now he could have gotten that kill. Sure, attack speed 2. Well, not enough. Um, can Luke grab the KO? 14 minus 6. It's 8. Yeah, okay. We'll give Luke this one. You, you said you're not sure what to play after Pokemon. Didn't you? Weren't you playing SMT games? You could go back to one of those. Did you have? You finished the one you were playing, right? You could go back to SMT. That's one thing about picking a franchise to play when it comes to streaming. When you're not sure what to play next, you can be like, ah, it's probably about time to go back to this franchise. You finished one and loved it. Well, you could go ahead and play two. You know, that's an option. Unless you've already felt like a little bit burnt out, but it's been a while since you played that, so that's an option. There's an achievement to promote uh, a knight to a general, which that wasn't a book one thing. That wasn't something you could do in book one. Yeah, an armor knight to a general, I think that's only done in book two. Oh, I guess when it comes to promotion, I only need to do three more. Knight to general, uh, archer to sniper, and Hunter to Horseman, which sucks, because I could have gotten that one. Wait for Winter. For that, I also might play Mega Tensei SNES remakes? Well, you have options, so... Stuff to think about. Okay. Oh, 
okay, you know what? We'll, you know what I might do? I'll probably have Katria get in range and then get my archers close by. Question is, I don't know if they're close enough. We got a capture and move here. She won't be able to deal damage, but my archers can. That's it. Okay. I want Katria right in range. Her defense is 13. Wait, that's not important. Uh, your attack is 17. I'll survive. Ad looks like it, uh, the ad looks like it's done. I'm getting Katria in range of the flyer over here, and my archers are ready to go. Over here, I think I should just surround him so he can't move. Keeping Drog where he is is a good idea. Marsh should be healed. Level 4, you're also level 4. Do you have- okay, what's your defense? 13. You would need the iron equipped to even deal damage. Okay, hold on. At least have the steel equipped. survive another hit. That's, that's perfect. Marth cannot deal damage. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and give... I'm gonna give Marth this KO right here. Stand right here. Let's make sure the iron is equipped and wait. Cecile, make sure the iron's equipped. That was close. Make sure the iron's equipped and we wait. We heal. chance. Then we have them stand here and wait. Alright. See how that goes.
Attacking Drog. Probably because he's the weakest right now. In terms of HP. Which is fine. I can live with this. You're gonna do it. Try to give the KO the one. Attack of 35. Defense of 13. Okay. That's my attack speed. Zero. Okay. Gordon can attack first to weaken. Works. Next. Warren should. Uh, we'll give Warren the XP. We'll give him the XP. Give him a level. Perfect. Alright. I gotta be careful. Oh. No matter which spot I choose... He can move to a fort. But I think I still want to do a similar strategy. Where I have Katria lure this guy. Attack 15. You know what's funny? She could survive a single hit. Hilarious. And we'll have Aaron as backup. Over here. Drug, you need healing. Leave it at that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. If he attacks Drog, that's fine. Yeah, he's gonna continue attacking Drog. That, that works. I'm okay with this. Good idea. It was a good idea. But no. We can't have nice things. Drog has to be unlucky, I guess. And I, there's no way I'm getting that crit again. There is no way I'm getting that crit. That was a good run. That sucks. That just sucks. Well, time to try it again. Ugh. It was a good run. I had things going, but no. Drog had to get hit by a crit. What was it, like 18 damage in total? If he was at full health, he probably could have survived it. That's the sad part. Try it again. Can we 
get favorable movement. Yeah, the Draco Knights are very tough. It's kind of interesting they're making you fight Draco Knights this early. I mean, granted, I have three archers, but yeah, it's interesting that they're having me fight Draco Knights this early. definitely wants to test your, your uh, skill. Yeah, this is already a good setup again. Uh, no. Talk, Warren. Oh my god, Warren, why don't you join the enemies? I just want money, but they're doing bad things. Oh, okay. I'll join you now. And there we go. Let's try it. Come on. Can we get the 5% crit? No, we didn't. Of course we didn't. Why would we? Why would we be able to get that crit? Why does it seem like you have less movement? They have the same. Probably just in a worse starting position. I usually find early game to be very difficult as well for strategy games or even just like any RPGs. Not dif difficult may be the wrong word to use, but with early games, with early game, you have less resources to work with. So I find that to be to, to make things more difficult. It's like, oh, I don't have uh, that many resources to work with. I only have 10 more uses of heal, and there's no shops, and I have no spares, because I didn't have the opportunity to. What's that? I have no mages? Well, okay then. What's that? No steel swords? No armor slayers? You only have so much to work with. And obviously, endgame can usually be, can sometimes be tough enough because, you know, you have everything. Let's put everything to the test. So the thief is getting away. The question is, what do I do? So I already know if Katria flies up here, she'll survive. She was able to survive. And I'll get the lady sword. However... One, it sucks I won't be able to automatically equip the Lady Sword. Oh, I just thought of something interesting. I thought of something interesting right now. 
if this happened again, right, where I have to do this, what if, just hear me out, uh, I gave all of Aaron's weapons over to Catria on turn one. And the reason why you do that is that if the thief ends up up here, I fly up here, dismount, use my sword, get the KO, get the lady sword, and then swap out the lady sword with the iron sword. I don't know how much more powerful it is, but it's probably better than the iron. But that is an idea. Question is, how, how much time do I have? Because I don't know where he's trying to go to. trying to go. I am trying not to look up chapters for Fire Emblem 3. However, I would be curious to look up this chapter after I beat it. I think that will be fair. I think I wanted you down here in attack. I made the mistake by putting him to the left. I think. Well, never mind. I guess it didn't really matter. For now, you can use the iron. We'll swap to steel when we're about to fight the Draco Knight. Okay. Our set full. I want him up here. just weaken. That's fine. Having the slim lance this early means she could double. Alright. Yeah, I wasn't able to buy another one. It was javelins. Whatever, Rody. Whatever. Skill, luck, and weapon level. Okay. Luke should be here. With the iron. No one. Oh no, Rhodey's gotten hurt. Alright. Seal him up. She is protected currently. I'm thinking when the next ad pops up, I'll go refill my water. And that'll be somewhere, somewhere in five to ten minutes, I think. Yeah, yeah, Riders Bane, you'll never survive this. Thank you. 
option I could think of. Instead of having Katria talk to Warren on that turn, I have her attack the thief and just get attacked by Warren. I think she can survive a archer. Strength, speed, luck, HP. Yeah, I think she's able to survive a single hit from an arrow. If that's the case, then that might be better to get the Lady Sword first. That way I'm not rushing in. some extra help. Okay. Can you double? No, of course you don't. Of course you don't double. Well, now I'm in danger. This is... This is bad. And I want to make sure she's protected. Oh, this sucks. This is a bad run. Come on, Warren. Get your kill. There we go. Get you here. I can get you here, but you're not protected. You have no culinaries. Because why would you? Why would you not come with a culinary? Okay, um. Let's just start getting rid of some enemies. Not like she needed the crit. gonna get attacked. So I gotta heal him. 
Don't play the happy music. We're not safe yet. Uh, well, that's gonna have to do. Currently has, yeah, two strength. Alright. Let's see how this goes. I have this ready to go. Yeah, nothing I can really do about that. Alright. You know what? Maybe going after the thief first is probably a good idea. Instead of recruiting Warren right away. We could probably try that. Happy music to sad music. Exactly! Seriously, why does no one have any Volinaries? I think Marth was the only one that had one. And maybe one of the... Yeah, I think one of the Cavs had one. And Marth had one. And then we got one from a... Then we got one from a, uh... Bandit. How come no one has any Volinaries? Or how come the shop didn't let me buy any? Okay. First, you go here. Normally, thieves have, like, an obvious spot to escape. I don't know where he's actually gonna go. I'm assuming he's just going to one of the forts. Like one of the ones in the back. I just don't know which one. Did I put Drog in the wrong spot or something? Could do is I could have Katria probably back out for a second and they get healed by Melissa. Melissa. After she gets hit by Warren, because she is going to get hit by Warren. That might be better than talking to Warren. Get rid of the thief first. So far, we're doing everything like normal. Okay. Can I check your stats? A 25. She has 8 defense. She's not going to get doubled. Oh my god. Look at this. She's in range. Are you kidding me? She's in range. What are you supposed to do? There's no way you're supposed to rely on our lucky crit. Looks like an ad's gonna start soon. Um... There is no way you're supposed to just get a lucky crit. What? Oh no. So now here's the problem. 
if I get rid of the thief right now, what will happen is she'll get attacked by Warren, and uh, and she'll also get attacked by Rumel. If it was just one of them, she could survive, but she can't survive both. the thief was gonna go. That's plain. I'm gonna get water. Here, I'm back. You know what? I want to know where the thief is going. I want to know where he's going. So if I don't get the crit, I might just leave him alone. Can I add back on? You need to know where you can book hotels for children. Oh no. Sorry, I, I can't control when the ad plays. I can't control what the ad plays. Or we just get the 5% crit. That works. We got the lady sword. Well, this works out. the army. Yeah, he does. I was already planning on putting him in the army. I needed a... I needed a hunter on the team. Or a hunter. We'll see if, uh... We'll see if he actually joins the team. with the steel instead. The iron. We would have won the, uh, two rounds ago if it wasn't for the stupid crit. Yes, we, well, as of right now, we won't know where the thief was actually trying to get to. Steel. Yeah, 
Yeah, Drug just needed one more point of defense, and he could be immune. Just one more point. But nope, that's not going to be the case. Alright. I wanted to seal here with the slim. I did okay on the last attempt on this side. So I think I'll probably do something similar. and HP. Brody, you go here. Get rid of the archer. Let me guess, is it a crit? No, that's fine though. Whip your iron. Who need healing? I think it was just Brody. Marth only needs one HP, I'm not gonna bother. Watch, that one HP makes all the difference in whether he lives or dies. Really hope I get another heal staff soon. she gets a crit. Where's she at during all this? Is she just guarding home base at the castle? I think that's all she's doing. So wait, I, I just now realized something. In book one, if Sheeta dies, does who does Marth end up marrying? Is there a difference? on who he ends up with? Or does he just not end up with anyone? Or is Sheeta one of those cases where when she dies, she just backs away and just doesn't fight? I wouldn't know because I haven't played really any of these games with like a Iron Man run in mind, so. I must back away from fighting. Uh, that would make sense. Because the writers knew they wanted Mark to end up with Sheeta. Because doesn't that happen with Jaken? He just backs away. He just doesn't fight anymore. Okay, Catri gets the crit. No EXP for Warren. Or, or Ryan. None of that. almost interesting to test out, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to play book one again just to figure that out. Right. You couldn't have gotten the crit on the first hit? Thanks. Get rid 
of the sky. HP. Both the same amount. With an attack of 11, that's of 6. No matter what, I have to hit twice. Yeah, I have to attack twice. Come on, Marth, I need you to dodge. That would be better. Well, now I have to heal you. Draw, go right ahead. Get rid of this guy. Perfect. Okay. Now you go ahead and heal Mark. Trying to be very careful on my button and not just mash the A button. You know? It's very important. Alright, good. Over here. You deal 70 minus 8. Okay, it's 9 damage. You'll survive. What was your range? We're doing the same strategy. Completely safe if you go here. Gordon. And Warren. Alright. Let's see if this goes well. Because both are probably going to attack Marth. I just need Marth to, like, dodge maybe one of them. Oh, thank you, Marth. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Now the question is, can I get the Draco Knight surrounded? Take the opportunity to heal Cecile for now. She's not at max health. Okay. If you were to attack, you have you have to use the iron. to use the iron to even attack, but we're just gonna wait. If you were to attack, you deal zero damage. HP. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize you were low on health. Oh, well. If you were to attack, you deal a single point in damage. What is your attack? 17. Okay. We're fine on this front. Drug. You stand here. Back is 17. Defense of 11. 6 damage. This way. I can have Drog attack. He'll survive. Okay. 
Again, he'll survive unless a lucky crit is involved. Alright. Over here. We're gonna do what I did last time. Patria goes here and just waits. And we have everyone else close by. He's really talking in Geron. Okay. I gotta really get hope. I gotta really hope that there's not another lucky trick. Yeah, Katria, you will deal zero damage, but you're here for bait. That's all you're here for. Last time, I had Gordon attack and weaken. This time, I'm gonna have Warren do this. You know, maybe I need to have Ryan go to the right side. If I fail this. Alright. You're talking an attack of 15. Minus 8. Katria can survive. I need to make sure she is out of range and safe. You can stand right here. If I'm gonna bring him over, I gotta make sure my archers are close by. Over here. You need to heal drug. survive. Unless crits are involved. Please don't let crits be involved. Okay. Marth can wait. Everyone else can wait. I think we're good. Good, he dodged. All right. Now, if I wanted to, I could maybe use like the iron and just let someone else get the kill, but I am not doing that. I am just gonna grab the kill right now and just not deal with it. Let's go. Seven, uh, speed and weapon level. Oh, uh, yes, because speed is really what you wanted. Okay. Start healing. Get some EXP. So I want my units probably over here ish. Yeah. So I can probably do this. I can probably do this. And that's close enough. Again. 
you have an attack of 15. You have a defense of 8. So it's fine. Actually, set her here. That way I have a better chance to get, to get all my archers to attack. Let's leave it. You will not survive the Rider's Bay. Oh, really? Well, no chance of crit. That's fine. That's good. I'm okay with that. I'm thinking similar strategy. Uh, Gordon? Go ahead and weaken. With an attack of 35. There we go. With Warren, can we get the KO? Attack of 25. 14. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Perfect. Level 3. Skill HP. And we got the Rider's Bane. General Rook, I leave the rest to you. Well, that happened. Yeah, I know, this is the second chapter. I'm already having a lot of trouble. I'm already having so much trouble. Okay. The moment. Let's heal Marth. I really hope there's another heal staff soon. In the next chapter. Because I'm not going to make it much farther. <laughs> Mark, let start heading that way. Uh, Luke's fine. Cecile's fine. Ellie's fine. Dr we'll give Drunk here. Everyone else. Warren and Catrick could use healing. But I can also hold off and save my heal staff. I might just save my heal staff. Here, though. I, I'm still not determined on... I'm still not sure who should actually have the lady sword. But... We'll see. Maybe if we could get a... A female Navar, basically. That would work. Probably work better. Oh, no reinforcements. That's actually a good sign. Actually, I want to check something. So dismount. I want to equip. So your iron sword is 1240. Wait a minute. The lady sword has effectiveness against... Bandits? What? It is a lot stronger. Well, okay, it's not that much stronger. It's probably about the same strength as a... as a steel weapon. Normally. It has higher crit. Less attack speed, but... Look at that attack power against bandits. That's insane. Highness, we found an unexpected person held captive in the fortress. Huh? Wind? What are you doing here? Lord Marth, it's great to finally see you. In order, in order for you to find you, I looked all over for your news. Then the Medonian soldiers captured me and took me in this fortress. Let's see, so it's, it's good to see that you're safe. Coming here by yourself was a dangerous thing to do. But, wow. 
why were you looking for me? Shouldn't you be by Nina's side? Princess Nina wanted me to give you this to you. That's the fire emblem. Isn't that the Arcanean royal family's treasured emblem shield? But why give it to me, right now? Shouldn't Arcanea be prospering under Emperor Hardin's mighty rule? In this peaceful age, why has Nina given the Conqueror's proof to somebody like me? I don't know either. Nina didn't say anything and just told me to give it to you. I don't know why, but her eyes seem so sad, as if she had been crying very hard. Nina? Why? Lind, regardless, it's dangerous for you to go alone. After this battle is over, we will return to Nina. Before that time comes, you will travel together with us. Understood, Lord Marth. We got the fire emblem. I didn't, I kind of didn't realize he didn't give it back, or he gave it back. I thought he kept it. I don't know why. At one time, the Medonian region was ruled by the Delonian Empire. A hundred years ago, the whole continent was controlled by the Dragon Tribe, who sent numer numerous slaves to these undeveloped forests. The slaves were forced to evacuate ruins and construct the country. Many people could not find food, were forced to work, and die from abuse. Amongst such tragic conditions, finally one youth stood up. Stood up. His name was Lot, or Eot. Is it Lot or Eot? He and his companions is escaped from the forest and fought riding dragons to continue the battle of liberation. Oh, I see. After Deluna's fall, the slaves established their own country at these rich and newly developed lands. And the heroic Eot was encouraged to become its first king. Afterwards, the kingdom of Medan was feared as the land of Draco Knights, and that's how it was born. However, this strong country not only lost its prince Machias, said to be the second coming of Eot, but now even the Crimson Dragon, or Crimson Dragoon, Princess Minerva, has been Still being your first final. This was the most I took on a chapter. You spent like two or you mean this chapter. This one right here. It took you like two or three days to beat? Wow. Okay, I'm still able to take take everyone with me. Don't really plan to use Orin. Hey, look, we have Orin back. Aura back. We have Nosferatu. Oh, wow. Okay. Really? Huh. I wonder why you took so... You spent so much time on this chapter. Let's give the Writer's Bane over to... Rudy for now. Alright, I am low on heal stabs. Let me look at the map. So we got a thief up here. Is there a village? Yep, right there. Oh wow. And we got an arena. Oh, okay. Taurus? Oh, is that the f part of the Fire Emblem? I noticed that on the intro, the the stones seem to have uh, be taken from the shield. Because I think they were in the shield when the intro for Book 1 was playing. Oh wait, Mathis is here. Okay, I guess we get to recruit Mathis. Arrow Ballista. Ooh, I gotta be careful. I think we need a thief for that. We have some villages. Oh, we have a village here. Two sets of villages. I'm assuming this thief is going to this one first. Anyone 
one specific. Again, we're dealing with Draco Knights this early. It's a little ridiculous. A Knight's Crest already? Wow, okay. That is... Okay. Uh, interesting. Oh, an ad's playing. Um... Oh, uh, wait a second. using wind again. Her aura really made things a lot easier. Okay. I can't really think of much more I can really do. I'm just gonna wait for the ad to play out. I might as well check. See if I can get messages or something. Nope, not really. About 30 seconds left. Should be done. Let's get this started. Was that pop? Oh, okay, wait a minute. Julian! Catria has finally brought the Eltian Knights here! I will go with them to rescue Princess Minerva. Please take Lena and hurry to safety. That isn't possible, Paula. Miss Lena's gone missing. I'm not le leaving just by myself. Huh? Lena's also. Princess Maria has also vanished. Why aren't the clerics the only ones missing? Anyway, I'm saying to search the village, so apologies, but I can't help you rescue your princess. Oh, it's alright. We should be able to save Minerva by ourselves. But Julian, although I know you're worried about Lena, don't push yourself. Uh, I'm sorry, Paula. Say hi to Prince Martha for me. Okay, so Julian's in that village. Although, I don't think we need Julian right now. What do you have? A sil- Ooh, you already have a silver lance to use. You're already level 10. How well do you do against- Okay, wait a minute. What's your attack? 24. Uh... 11 damage per hit. I could put Paula right here. Well, I do think it's a good idea to have Paula up here. Yeah, okay, we'll just have her jump from fourth to fourth. Kind of interesting that I already have control of her. We can't open this draw bit. Oh, wait, no, we can. Wait a minute. Yeah, we can. We have a bridge key. So I can get over here. Who talked to Mathis last time? Um, it was... Wasn't it Sheeta that talked to Mathis? Who, who talked to him? That's another four. I'm gonna have Aaron run through. And I'm having Aaron go over here. Martha's gonna have to head to this village. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten would be down one row, so. Rhodey is currently the only one in range. I can use that as a marker. Someone's gonna be in range. I'm gonna have to fight in the forest. Can I just 
just hope it works out. I think I might need to get the drawbridge taken care of. So that way I can get rid of this guy. However, we have these three to worry about. These four to worry about. Mm. I can see how this one could be tough. I'm gonna leave everyone else where they are for now. Let's see. I wanna know what happens. Where does everyone go? You're moving south. Why? Because you were in range. Okay. Oh, I should have caught that. Oh, wow, a crit. That's a good whole three damage. I didn't catch this. Mistakes were made. Mistakes have just been made. We got another 5% crit. Good old 3 damage. Seems to be only those two. Yeah, he's on the move to the Julian village. Okay, the Bliss is not attacking for whatever reason. Luke's showing he really wants to be on the team, and yet I'm probably still going to bench him. Okay, if I attack with Warren, attack of 25, you will not get the KO. What's your attack speed? 2, 1, 0. Okay. Gordon, I need you to weaken. I need you to weaken. Or, you know what, get the crit? I'm okay with this, actually. I think I'm okay with that. Because, where's your range? Yeah, we'll be fine. Set you here. back out. Drog's out of range. So putting Drog here wouldn't have been the worst idea. If I attack power 12, didn't the Lady Sword have a power of 19? I think it did. Yeah. With that in mind, Dismount. Kind of weird I'm using the Lady Sword for this, but. Kinda have to. Level 7. Strength, skill, speed, weapon level, HP. Pretty good level. Okay. I think I can have my team sl slowly work on these guys. It's not hurting anything. And I'll have to have Drog work on it. Yeah, you need to heal Luke. Or at least get him going. Okay, so if I fail, putting Drog here would be a good idea. With the steel in hand, I can weaken the others. Okay. Can't 
lower the drawbridge because I don't have the key. What's going to happen to Medon now? First they said Prince Micaias died, and Princess, Princess Maria went missing. And now Princess Minerva has been captured, and her life is in danger. Uh, this country won't become like Grus, right? I'm just gonna have a rush. Yeah, uh, okay. If I have Paula go in, yeah, we'll be fine. Go ahead and get rid of the cheese. gone, so the village is safe. Village is safe. Okay. We're gonna have Mark jump from... Oh, if I... Okay, if I... This is where I got confused. I think he... he use this. I think his, he already had this symbol starting in book two. So that's why I thought he already had the fire emblem. But no, he needed this right here. That's where I, I was a little confused, because that's why I thought he still had it. He had this symbol, right? He had this one right here. If he did, that's what I I thought he already had the emblem still on him. Oh, I could have used Lind. It didn't have the symbol? Okay. Tricks on me. Alright. I almost want to look back at the footage. Oh! Okay. Rook, a coward like you wouldn't dare to do something this big. Did Harden did Harden fool you into with his fancy words? Uh, you are how are you still you thought I was dead? <laughs> Never mind. Give Minerva back to me. I don't care about this country anymore. We can do what, what you want with it. However, I won't rest until I have dealt with that guy personally. Yes, but Princess Minerva has already breathed her last... She cannot be saved. Don't waste my time. Hand her over now. Or do you prefer to die by my lance? Okay, I understand. Hey, you, bring the princess here. Minerva, it has been a while. This isn't like you at all. Losing your pre precious Maria, and even being abandoned by your men. Is this really the perfect country you, that you wanted? Micaias, how? Hey, he picked her up. So that so so that means rescue is a thing, right? Right? Rescue is a thing. I knew something would be off. It's too early to actually recruit with a uh, recruiter. It's way too early for that. Without S, the Pegasus sisters have become really lonely. I'm a fan of their triangle attack. Oh, S. Please come back soon. Ah, the triangle attack. Was the... Was the triangle attack in book one? I don't remember if it was. Okay. First of all, Luke, you stand here. And we're gonna have Drog go right ahead and stand... Right... Leave that alone. Is that it? No, I gotta. I gotta have Paula here to do something. Um. Let's see. 
I think I could have her safely in range of one person. Yeah, I think we can have her check the village. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. I'll tell you a secret. That armory seems to have connections with the rebels. If you're going to visit it, be extra careful. What does that mean? What does... What does that even mean? Reinforcements have arrived. Okay. Paula's gonna be able to fight a bit more. You know, there's a part of me that's been thinking of maybe trying to stream for longer sessions. But for me, I can't really stream for, like, start stream at noon and try to stream for longer. For me, it would have to be start streaming earlier and end around the times I usually tend to end stream. Just not 100% sure of how much I really should try to do that. But there's a part of me that's been thinking of maybe trying to extend my sessions. Lately, I've been trying to go for roughly 3 p.m. You know, roughly three hours. And it's kind of a give and take. Sometimes I can go longer, sometimes I have to cut it shorter. But generally, I've been trying to go three hours lately. You know what, I think Ryan and, and Warren are probably strong enough I believe. Yeah, you're very close to a level. Let's go ahead and give him a level. Four, strength and HP. I'll try to feed Ryan the next one. Katria, you know what? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll go here, back on your Pegasus. Let's see. Kyla, you, you just hang out on the board. and I usually like to train them, but let's be honest here, they weren't that great in book one. Just the flaws of not actually having a magic stat. So... I'm not sure. I mean, Lena was very useful. But she was a cleric that promoted to a bishop. Merrick and Lind were okay. Lind more so than Merrick. But that's. It was mostly for the tomes they had, not necessarily their stats. This one didn't even move. First of all, I think I'll do the same thing, have 
Gordon. Go ahead and weaken. I want to give the kill to Ryan. Warren back out. Go ahead and grab your KO. And we get a crit. Not that we needed it. Alright. The next one has an attack of 17. So 6 damage. We'll survive. Get hand on the forest. I want to have these Draco Knights taken care of before I start going through here. And I want to be very careful because these Draco Knights are a threat too. Ago, there was a traveling paladin who visited here. He was wearing a mask, but I bet he's he's a really handsome person underneath. He was very gentle, but he seemed very sorrowful as well. <sighs> Will I see him again? I think I know who she's talking about. Because I have played Shadows of Valentia. So yeah, I think I know who she's talking about. I probably do need to actually use Aaron. Because if I'm gonna lure these guys, I need Aaron to, like, help deal a lot of damage. And weaken the Draco Knights for the other units. Five EXP out of it. It's a good thing we don't have a drawbridge lowered yet. Okay, the ones in the middle are not moving. That's interesting. Village. Your Highness, thank you for rescuing this village. We don't have much to reward you with, but please take the silver axe. It is a very expensive item, so it should fetch a good price in the shops. I can't even use it. I have no axe users. And they were just like, oh, you should use it in the... You should sell it. But it's a good weapon. I don't want to sell it. Okay, Julian's in the other village. Gordon, go ahead, get your... Go ahead and do this and weaken. use of the heel staff. I can't really arena grind now, can I? 
unless the shop has a heal staff. Okay. And Ryan, go ahead. Get your KO. There we go. Level 4. Skill, defense, and HP. Alright. I'll let you stand and top off your HP. Oh yeah, Paul is fine. Who needs to talk to Mathis, though? Normally my gut is Marth, but I'm pretty sure it was, Ke it was Sheeta that talked to him. Positive Sheeta was the one to talk. Actually, you know what? There's a way I can find out without spoiling myself. I can go back to the Shadow Dragon chapters. And I can double check. Uh... So, let me see. Which one had the. Okay. That one's talked to Le talk with Lena. This one was also talked with Lena. So remembering that it was Lena that talked to Mathis. Does is it about a cleric? No, no. Mathis and Lena are brother and sister, right? They were brother and sister, correct? Is that it? I think that's all I'm doing. More reinforcements. Hala has some work to do. We got rid of all the Draco Knights at the very least. Or we're about to. Okay. Mm, that did not go as expected. Level 11, skill went up, and that's it. Honestly, if I'm going to use two Pegasus Knights, it'll probably be Katria and S, or Sheeta. I think... I think I might skip out on Paula. She might be one of those ones where she starts off with good stats, but she doesn't have that many good groups. Chapter 2. Let's see what it says. Okay. Are they just never going to move, or... Can we get you here? We're going to find out if they're going to move. Over here, where's Gordon? Go ahead and weaken. Level 7, skill, luck, and weapon level. Perfect. 
Okay. Drog is gonna need more healing. We'll probably have him stand on the floor. Now we need to consider getting the straw bridge open. I'm gonna need... Oh, the Rider's Bane's all the way over here. I'm gonna have Marth head back. Let's see. Now that we've gotten rid of all the Draco Knights... It seems to be the end of reinforcements on that side. Well, actually, no, they can, they can skip. HP. Okay, so last time she just got a not that great level up. Okay. Oh, no. okay. okay, these guys are just not moving at all. I don't know if I need to like cross the bridge or if I need to do something else, but you know what? I think I need to back out. I thought I would need to go around like this. But maybe I don't need to do that. I think I need to lower the drawbridge and then kind of block it. So right now, draw needs healing. Let's go ahead and use my last heal. That's it, my heal staff broke. That's it. You're gonna need to You're gonna need to go here. But I also kinda wanna wait for my other units to show up. <sighs> of course they're infinite uses. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to run out. It's gonna be a while before Drog is able to make it. He doesn't have great movement. I'll just. I'll just let you hang out here. said, like, you can recruit Korra in Chapter 2, but that's a new mystery of the emblem. I'm like, what? I missed a character? But no, that's a new mystery. I was gonna say, how, what village is there? Oh, there's one right at the beginning, but only a new mystery. I, see. I was a little confused there. I'm like, I don't remember a village being there. Doesn't really say anything about where the thief ends up going. Dang. Alright. Well, Marth close. Cecile and Raw needs to. Road. Rody. I need to remember. I'm bad with names. Go over here. 
Who got hit? It was Warren. Okay. Let's have you... top off his HP. Gordon, maybe you can bait the Ballista. I was doing okay, although she's about to run out. She's about to run out of her Okay. I mean, she's getting some levels out of this. That's that's definitely something. This is going to work with Mathis. But... There we go. Please protect Warren. Alright. I'll get to see how this changes things. Okay, you're attacking Warren. That's interesting. Okay, now they're moving. Luckily, he has a javelin. I won't be able to hit him. Lena, where are you? Even just once. I want to see you before I die. So he's still talking about Lena. But Julian was saying Lena disappeared. Molly, what are you doing? Julian was saying Lena's gone. But it kidnapped, it seems like. But the shop is connected to some bandits or something. Um, he's wanting to talk to Len. As a for sure thing. Yes. 
I keep thinking Ballistas are way more dangerous than what they actually are. I'm used to Thracia. I mean, it's bad for Catria, you know, but I keep thinking they're more dangerous. Who's left? Aaron. Enforcements have arrived. They just keep coming. Okay, yep, they'll move. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. And he's trapped. He is trapped. Safety. Oh, wait, no. He's not trapped. No, he is trapped. Okay. However, Drog. Can you get rid of him? Eleven. No, you can't. You can't get rid of him. But I can with Marth. Or Rhodey. Okay. Next, you get out of here. You get to safety. Rhodey, you go right ahead and with the Rider's Bane, equipped. The other calves go after him, he should be fine. And the Ballista's out. Level four, strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Katria, you can start moving. Again, I he needs to talk to Lena, but I don't know how to get Lena. Marth gets a crit. Perfect. Okay. You're gonna target Mathis, you're gonna also target Marth. That's fine. I can move I can move with that. Good, we dodged. Okay, these guys are on the move. Maybe I could get Rhodey over there stop at the bridge. Well, not this turn, that's for sure. Use your range. They're not going to make it. 
But what if I go in here? What do we got? We could buy her a steel. And we'll also buy her an iron. With the steel for now. She, she'll be fine. Alright. Can you talk? No. I'll let you go ahead and grab. Wait. Yeah. Do this. It's going to someone else. Be that way. Can you go ahead and grab it. 13 minus 7. Yes. Yes, you can. Perfect. Level 5 skill, speed, defense. HP. I want to see if I can get him to kind of just back up in a corner. If we could get him to back up into like this corner, I could have like three units block the path or four or something like that. I don't have a feeling it has to do with this. Well, that's probably going to be Katria's uh, job. Oh, now you're moving. Okay. Why now? to death. Okay. So, hmm. If I could get rid of them sooner, that'd be great, but I'm not 100% sure how they decide to start moving. Unless one of them is currently holding Lena. Honestly, keeping Mathis alive is going to be the trickiest part. Wow, I thought that would do a lot more, but no. Well. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it. Yeah, uh, I would continue, but I got some stuff going on later. The village hint? Uh, one of them said something about like one of these shops being involved with uh, black market or something. So maybe it has to do with the arena? Yeah, I know. I got some stuff going on. I can't really continue. But Let's see. He gave me a silver axe. One of them says something about the triangle attack. Get some, get some food? Yeah, it's all good. Like, I say, like I've been saying, I kind of feel like maybe I should try to stream for longer. 
But for me to do that, I have to start sooner. I can't, like, the furthest I could go is just, uh, you know, normally, ideally, I could go for another hour, but I can't today. Hopefully we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'll be do trying this chapter again and try to figure this out. But yeah. Part of me has been thinking of trying to extreme for longer sessions, but I would have to start sooner for me to efficiently do that. I don't know. I'm still kind of debating. But anyway, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Skyline 64 streaming times. This was my first attempt. This was not bad. This could have been a lot worse. Uh, I have a good idea of what we need to do, but it's just getting Mathis. That's going to be tricky. I'm going to have to figure it out. Anyway, have a good day.